Hi, I'm Dustin Hansen with Graywell Entertainment. I'm Zane with Graywell and Salt Pop. Zane's in a really spunky mood today, so we're going to go really fast on this video. <laughs> He's got to get out of here. He's got spring fever or something. Uh, this is the Graywell Entertainment update for 4-22-14. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everyone that came out and supported us on Record Store Day and supported all the local other indie record stores. Um, we had a great day, had a ton of great events. Thank you to Slug and KRCL and um, all our sponsors and Off The Grid Food Truck and all the amazing people that came out, all the great artists that were doing stuff for Craft Lake City, Audrey Patton and Travis Bone and Robin Banks and Jorge uh, Stencil Jam. All you guys were fantastic and we can't thank you enough for all coming out. For you guys that missed it, we still have a lot of leftover product that you can find at stores. Um, well, I wouldn't say a lot. We sold through most everything, but there are still some gems hiding out there, so if you didn't have a chance, come see us. And then uh, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Graywell SLC for those constant updates. And then on Facebook.com slash Graywell for all these videos and all the other fun stuff we post on there. Um, anything you want to add about Record Store Day? No, just thanks for coming out. It was our biggest, best Record Store Day yet. So, yeah. I mean, it's because of you guys. And so. to any labels that watch this, you guys are great. Thank you so much for the product. Um, it, it was swimming. It was very few, very, very positive year this year. Very minimal complaining and... The complaints we got were about people that didn't really quite understand how retail as a whole works. <laughs> <laughs> On top of that, not understanding how, you know, limited allocated product works. So thank you to everybody so much. And then we're going to rip through these and then send you on your way. So this video will be quick and easy. First thing out of the gate, Eels have a new record out. Um, the Cautionary Tales of Mark Oliver Everett. Uh, we have this on CD and DVD. If you're an Eels fan, there's not much to tell you. There's a bunch of live tracks on the, on the second side of the bonus LP that's in here. There's the full album and there's an entire bonus LP and the CD's the same way as a bonus disc, so very cool. Um, another summer jam forever. The original lineup of G-Love and Special Sauce back together again. This is their first original trio album in eight years. Uh, it's called Sugar. Margo and the Nuclear So-and-Sos on Myriel Recording Company. Um, this one's called Slingshot to Heaven. It's their fifth album. Very good stuff if you're an indie fan. Uh, the Menzinger's new record. What's this one called? Rented, Rented World. This is on CD and DVD, or CD and LP at all locations. Uh, the new Khalees Food on uh, Ninja Tune. Getting some really good write-ups, very good, some good publicity on this one. A little bit of a new sound for her, kind of really cool. So check that out. Um, Army of Pharaohs, which is the guys from Jedi Mind Tricks. Jedi Mind Tricks. Thank you. That whole collective. This is a two LP. In Death Reborn, and we have this on CD as well. Features everybody you can think of, anyone involved with that group. Very cool. Vinny Paz, you know, all that stuff's on here. So if you're a fan, check it out. And then we're starting to get some really well priced, you know, moderately priced, not big monster edition Blue Note reissues for the 75th anniversary of Blue Note. One of my favorite albums ever, the Ornette Coleman Trio at the Golden Circle, Stockholm. Uh, Herbie Hancock's Maiden Voyage and Sonny Rollins, A Night at the Village Vanguard. These all are, we have these at most locations. Our U of U location is gonna be one of our specialty Blue Note jazz store. They'll have all the vinyl, all the CD reissues. So if you guys are interested in the jazz stuff, go see the guys up at our U of U store. They've got a ton of, ton of great stuff for you. And then one more reissue on vinyl that's uh, very cool and interesting. It's the High Fidelity original master recording of Jerry Garcia and David Grisman. Big monster, heavy thing, numbered out of 5,000. Um, so if you're a Jerry Garcia fan and you didn't catch, catch all the stuff on Rexford, right, here's a secondary piece you can pick yeah, up. If you're a fan of an album and you see it in that original Master Recordings series, you should just buy it because it's the best version of the album you're ever going to find. So yeah, That's the rumor at least. <laughs> <laughs> um, pretty tiny offering of metal and hard rock stuff for this week for me to talk about. So I'm going to run through these real quick. Winger, Better Days Coming. This is a deluxe edition of this. There's a CD and then there's a CD DVD version of this. As far as I know, this is a full new album. So it uh, is. It's full new material. Yeah. yeah. Crocus. Crocus. Long stick goes boom. Live from the House of Rust. It's a live record. Um, has 14 tracks. Uh, so if you're a fan of that. Sebastian Bach. Give them hell. This is a brand new studio album from Sebastian Bach. Formerly um, of Skid Row. And features, reality television. 
Yeah, and also TV. <laughs> uh, features guest appearances from Duff McKagan, Steve Stevens, John Five. Um, so it's a whole bunch of a whole bunch of guys. And then uh, Wump Scut has a new album, uh, Bulwark Bazooka, um, industrial metal band, industrial band. So there you go. Augustana's new one, Life Imitating Life, on Razor and Tie. Uh, the new Semi-Precious we Weapons, SPW for short. Uh, Bastille has a new remix album called All This Bad Blood. Um, this is, includes the hit Pompeii and Bad Blood plus 10 new songs. And it's a two-disc set. So. Yeah, it's got everything you could ever want on it. So there you go, Bastille fans. you got more and more to look for. Uh, local band, done well. Uh, Neon Trees. Pop Psychology, that's their new one. Uh, we have that everywhere. And the vinyl's not out yet, so if you come in tomorrow looking for the vinyl, don't get mad at us. It's not been released yet. Uh, Churches, repackaged and re reissued. Uh, the Bones of What You Believe. There's uh, three new songs added to this. So if you haven't bought it yet, now's a chance to get three new songs. If you have bought it, you might want to come trade it in and get a new three songs. Future Honest. There's a deluxe and a regular edition. The deluxe features, um, looks like four new songs. This features Pharrell, Pusha T, Kanye West, Andre 3000, Drake, Pharrell, oh, I said Pharrell, didn't I? Uh, Wiz Khalifa as well, plus five bonus tracks. So there you go. Uh, Iggy Azalea, her, she released an EP. She's been all over YouTube and everything for a couple years, and her EP came out. Now this is the full length. It features the four or five videos you probably watched on the internet, and then a, the rest of the album that put together. Uh, she's a really interesting voice from Australia, uh, per Miami, I guess. This is the deluxe edition. It has a uh, three bonus tracks, so highly suggest picking that up if you're into like. It, everyone likes Lord and Lana Del Rey and all that stuff. She's the hip hop it's equivalent of that more, kind of stuff. Yeah, it's a little more rap. So yeah, very good. Uh, Black Prairie's new album, Fortune. They just released the vinyl on Record Store Day, which we sold out of, and then this is the CD version. Um, uh, members of Decembris. Basically, it's everyone without Colin. Uh, the Wigs have a new album called Modern Creation on New West. It's a good little rocker. Keb Mo, Blues Americana. He's a blues master guitar guy. Check that out if you're a blues fan. Uh, Abba Gold reissued 40th Anniversary Edition. Three CDs, two full hits CDs, and then a B-Sides album. So you would, most people like Abba. Some people don't like Abba, but you'd be shocked how much we could ask for this. So now it's back in print. Uh, a couple soundtracks, Joe by uh, David Wingo and Jeff McKillwain. David Wingo did the uh, Prince Avalanche soundtrack also with um, Explosion in the Sky, and this one's another one he's doing. And Explosion in the Sky is actually featured on this as well, on one track. Uh, Clint Mansell's next soundtrack, Filth, for the um, new movie that's coming out. This is a very great uh, compilation. It's called Farewell Transmission, the music of Jason Molina. Uh, bands like My Morning Jacket, Murder by Death, uh, Enemy Planes, Communist Daughter, and then there's a group called the Memorial Electric Company. All proceeds from this tribute record, which is fantastic by the way, go towards the Molina family and uh, you know with his untimely passing, uh, some support for the family there. Very cool piece to pick up. Uh, this is Deconstructed. This is a very interesting record too. Today's Hottest DJs remix new and classic songs from Disney and Disney Pixar. Featuring Avicii, Cascade, Uncle, Armin Van Buren, and a whole bunch more doing classic you know, Disney songs. Frozen songs, Toy Story songs. Yeah, Dumbo, Sleeping Beauty. The Muppet Show theme. Yeah, just about everything you can think of remixed by today's current hot DJs. And last but not least, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 soundtrack. There's a regular version that's just the, the, the 20 song CDs, and then the CD2 has all the Hans Zimmer and the Magnificent, Magnificent Six tracks added to it, which is another 11 tracks with a handful of remixes. This thing is thorough, and if you're a fan of the music, you're going to love every bit of it. Plus, it has like an 11-page book in here. Oh, we have movies, too. Forgot about that. Um, Big Bad Wolves. Apparently, Tarantino-style revenge thriller. Um, I can't remember what country it's from. Why am I forgetting this thing? We read about this. French, maybe. Uh, anyway, it's awesome, apparently, so check that out. Uh, Betty Page reveals all a documentary actually narrated by um, herself, by Betty Page, so, you know, kind of cap, seems like a few years too late, but something new from about Betty Page. Some classic Blu-ray reissues, this classic Sidney Lumet film called The Pawnbroker, 
This is a brutal film, but it's very, very, very cool. Um, Rockstar, starring the one and only Mark Wahlberg. Um, I have a sweet, soft, soft spot in my heart for this movie because it's it's kind of cheesy and dumb, but also very cool. A lot of people really like that movie. You wouldn't expect really, yeah. re really dig it. And people are fans of the. There's a there's a band that did all the music for that movie. That was a real band that, that I know people are fans of them whether they're a fan of Rockstar or they just were already fans of that band and then they use the music in Rockstar, <laughs> but yeah. Start out hair metal, you end up grunge. Just watch that movie. Uh, Get Carter, the classic 1971 starring Michael Caine in one of his best badass performances ever. First time on Blu-ray. And then a really classic but underrated and hidden William Friedkin movie called Sorcerer. Um, it's not about magic or anything like that. It's about uh, Roy Scheider and a bunch of guys that they're they have to drive this cargo truck through the uh, South American jungle full of nitroglycerin to help stop a uh, terrain fire, I think is where they're headed. Yeah, it's like a fire out there. Oil fire, that's what it is. Anyway, sounds weird and you're like, well, whatever, why is it called Sorcerer? You should check this movie out. It's grueling and badass. So, there you go. 70s, really weird 70s, dark, late 60s, early 70s theme in the movies this time. So. That's everything for us. Thanks for watching and thanks again for coming out to Record Store Day and we'll see you real soon.